This video will show you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an out of paper error message displays on the control panel. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn to the front again. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Often, obstructions in the input tray and the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed. In this step, you will check for any possible obstructions as well as check the condition of the paper. Remove all paper from the input tray. Remove the output tray from the printer. Check for obstructions inside the input tray. Use a flashlight to view the mechanism inside the tray to make sure that nothing blocks the paper from engaging with the rollers. Even small pieces of paper can cause paper feed issues. Remove any obstructions or pieces of paper found in the input tray. Reinsert the output tray into the printer. Examine the stack of paper. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type. Then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloths. Clean cotton swabs. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord. If you have a rear access panel, locate the gray tab on the left side and push it inward to disengage the latch. Pull straight out and to the left to remove the panel. If you have a duplexer, place your hand on the right side and push towards the left side of the printer. This will disengage the duplexer from the printer. Pull straight out to remove it. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller, starting on the right side of the roller, 
and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the rollers up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Look for the paper pick rollers farther inside the rear of the printer. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not clean, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed the paper into the printer. On the duplexer or rear access panel, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding paper properly and mean that the duplexer or rear access panel needs to be replaced. If you have a duplexer, hold it with two hands and push down on the two tabs on both ends to unlatch it. Clean the surface of the rollers in the duplexer the same way you clean the rollers inside the printer. Allow the rollers of the duplexer to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Reattach the duplexer by inserting the left side first into the back of the printer. With the left side in place, push the right side straight in until the duplexer is securely locked in place. If you have a rear access panel, you can reinsert it by gently pushing the tabs on the right side of the rear access panel into the appropriate slots on the printer. Push the door forward until it snaps into place. Reconnect the power cord. Go back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports. And then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the printer status report does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the rubber paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful to only push one sheet of paper and not to push it in too far. This can cause paper jams. If the printer status report does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step and service the printer. If the printer status report prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing the original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there's no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer may need to be serviced. The printer might not pick up paper if the paper size and type in the paper tray do not match the size and type settings in the print driver. In this step, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you were trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to bring up the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, Click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Paper Size drop-down menu, and then choose the appropriate paper size. Select the Media drop-down menu, 
and choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK at the bottom of the Properties box. Click Print to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.